Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It is time for another Lakers update. A lot has happened since the last time we talked. Let's get started. For starters, Rondo and Ingram are finally back. They have both been released from their injuries. They were playing with the practice team for a very, very long time to make sure that they were ready to return. They have returned. We're so happy because they were necessary. We were down so many players that due to injury and illnesses that it was so difficult for the Lakers to actually play. But now that we have them back, that has been amazing. Unfortunately, for the last several games, we've been without JaVale McGee because he has pneumonia. He has been out ill and trying really hard to recover from that. A lot of the players went through bouts of having the flu and trying to get over that. So I'm hopeful that they're past all of that, that JaVale McGee will get over his pneumonia and be back soon as well. The Lakers went through a bumpy period and they lost a couple of games that they really shouldn't have. However, they played a game on Christmas Day against the Golden State Warriors that we really, really needed them to win, and they did. It was amazing. The Lakers are now 20 games won, 14 losses, so they are moving up in the rank. We need Golden State to lose some more games, which is unfortunate to wish that upon them, but that's what we're gonna need and that's what it's gonna take. The Lakers are just gonna have to continue playing great and winning games. The game on Christmas Day was simply amazing. The Lakers came together, they played their best. They played the way I know they know how to play, but there was an unfortunate incident. That was LeBron injuring himself. The day after Christmas, he went in for an MRI. They have decided that it's simply a pulled groin and he's on a day-to-day -day basis at this point. So we're hopefully that he will be able to play in the next game. The next game is actually tonight, Thursday, December 27th. They're playing the Sacramento Kings and they are 18 and 16. So hopefully we can pull out another win. Hopefully LeBron will be able to play tonight. By the time this video is posted, it will be tomorrow morning, Friday morning, so the game will be over. Hopefully there'll be a win there. We do have another game Friday, December 28th. That's gonna be a really exciting game as well because we are at home playing the Clippers. They are currently 20 and 14 as well. So I'm hopefully that we can pull out that win. I'm hoping that LeBron will be better and back and able to play well in both games. Since McGee has been out, they had to bring somebody else in to cover for him. And they brought in one of the new young players. He's only 21 years old. His name is Evika Zubak. He has been so wonderful. He has really showed Walton and the Lakers that he's here to play, he's here to win, and that he should not be sitting on the bench. Actually, I do think that even once JaVale McGee is back and feeling well, I know that we also have Tyson Chandler who is a defender and plays wonderfully as well, but Zubak has shown that he is an amazing asset to this team, that he's a great player. He has made baskets, rebounds. He has been wonderful. He has really stepped in when we needed him being down Rondo, Ingram, and then JaVale McGee going out with pneumonia. We had a couple of games that were really, really difficult. However, Zubak showed up, he played. Now we have Rondo and Ingram back as well. As soon as we can get JaVale McGee back on the court, that's gonna be helpful. We'll have a full team. Hopefully LeBron's recovery from his groin pull will go smoothly. Hopefully he actually is even ready to play in tonight's game. Like I said, it's day by day. They're gonna be checking his progress, but hopefully tonight he'll be able to play and they can pull out another win. We really need them to win the next few games. These are games are critical so that they can move up in the rankings. I know it's their first year together as this amazing team, but they have proven that they are doing things that no one ever imagined they'd be able to do even this first year together. Even LeBron, when he's been interviewed lately, has stated that they're playing better and better every game and that their progress is so much better than he anticipated at this point. He's indicated that they still have a long way to go and a lot to learn. Of course, they're hoping that they can pull a new player in um, in the summer They'll have an opportunity to bring in a new player. 
Uh, like I've said in the past, I'm still really hopeful that it's Kevin Durant. When we were playing the Golden State Warriors the other day, he played so well. And I would love to have him on this team. I think he would be a great contribution to this team. But I know that they will make the right choice. I know that with Magic Johnson, helping make some of these decisions with Luke Walton and all of the other managers and owners of the team, hopefully they'll pick someone amazing. I know that LeBron has his eye on a few players as well, and he's trying to um, just keep the lines of communication open with anyone that he is interested in, and he's really got his eye on them right now so that he can figure out who would be the best asset to this team to just help them continue winning, take them to the playoffs, and help them win the finals. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the update. I will be back in a couple of weeks with another update for you. Um, hopefully you're following along, watching the Lakers with me every time they play, cheering, crying, and just hoping that they will hopefully make it into the playoffs this year. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. 